Less than 10% of New South Wales is in its pristine natural state. In the 1990s, major reforms put an end to broad-scale land clearing. Now those laws are being reworked. For better or worse, depends on who you talk to. The native vegetation laws that have been in place for the last 20 years are effectively halting farmers from adapting and using modern technology, from adapting to modern emerging markets. It's like it's a time lock. In Moree, Oscar Pierce is spraying his chickpea crop to kill off disease. So, Oscar, why is it that this tree is a problem for you? Trees like this that are within sight our cropping zones prevent us from running the normal tram tracking and makes it very difficult to do zero till. And they're all modern farming techniques that increase productivity and reduce our inputs. So you want these isolated trees removed? Yeah, just the isolated trees taken out, not all. Here in Moree and further west in Walgut, there's been mounting pressure from farmers to get more control over their land in an attempt to boost productivity. But this call for change hasn't come from all members of the farming community. So you've regenerated a lot of this land here? Absolutely, yeah. We've, um, we've put vegetation and um, a lot of extra fencing in to regenerate this land. Organic beef farmer Glenn Morris says the draft law doesn't do enough to encourage sustainable farming. He took his concerns to the city last month when he stopped traffic on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I was down there to raise the bar to say that we need more respect for the bush, for soils in general. The way I look at it is that we need a complete revegetation policy for New South Wales, not a policy which actually reduces vegetation further. But this legislation is about much more than just agriculture. It's about threatened species and biodiversity, with conservationists warning that here in New South Wales, the rate of biodiversity being lost is happening at an alarming rate. We know that if this reform package goes through, it is going to drive greater extinction here in New South Wales and really push a lot of those species to the brink. Conservationists say the current laws have wound back land clearing rates by as much as 40%, protecting the land and more than a million native animals on it. But they worry the proposed changes allow farmers too much self-regulation, opening the gate to excessive clearing. This is not Queensland. Uh, there are numerous checks and balances to ensure that we will not have runaway land clearing. They've got a way to go before it is acceptable to farmers because there's some unnecessary caps on activity. It's not certain what the final legislation will look like. What is certain is there's still a difficult road ahead and that farmers will be hotly debating the proposal when they meet this week. Leave Casbin, ABC News in the northwest of New South Wales.